Hey everyone, Alien Theory here with a hopefully helpful video to let you know what to expect on Alien Day. It's tomorrow, and there's a lot going on as usual. Some releases, merchandise, maybe some announcements, and a lot coming from the passionate and devoted fan community. First things first, you may have been following the Alien 40th Anniversary short films from fans that have been released through IGN. They've been releasing them periodically, and the final two shorts are being released on Alien Day. If you haven't been catching up, it's a good opportunity to do a binge of all the movies combined. The runtime is about an hour, and I think that's the best way to watch. But if you've already caught up, there's at least two to binge that day, so that's alright. One of the final releases, Alien Alone, actually features Son of Hudson himself, James Paxton, taking a break from his musical career to wander the halls of a dark, scary spaceship. That's pretty cool. I have actually seen them all, I've enjoyed them all, and we'll definitely talk about them in detail soon, but for now I recommend seeing them and hopefully we'll be talking about them more quite soon. When it comes to Alien Day and what's kind of become a tradition now, personally I'm always very excited, most excited, about the audio dramas that Audible releases. They always do such a great job. On past Alien Days, they've released the audio dramas of Alien Out of the Shadows, Alien River of Pain, Alien Sea of Sorrows, all excellent adaptations of extended universe alien novels, and this year they're going in a slightly different direction, but it might be the most exciting concept yet for one of these productions. Audible will be releasing an audio drama version of William Gibson's Alien 3. The details are a little iffy right now, I'm not 100% sure if it's already been completed and Alien Day is the release day, or if it's just an official announcement for Alien Day, but usually these are kept pretty secretive, and we usually only get to know the full info pretty much the day of, but that's definitely something to look out for. Gibson's Alien 3 has always been a revered story from fans, and it's experienced a new revival, of course with the comic book adaptation from Dark Horse, and now we'll be getting the audio drama where Michael Bean and Lance Henriksen are going to be reprising their roles as Hicks and Bishop, respectively, so that is incredibly exciting. Definitely keep a close eye on that, I know I will. Another cool release I'm excited about is the Bug Stompers. They're re-releasing the Reebok Bug Stomper sneakers, which they haven't done since the first Alien Day a few years ago, and I'm definitely going to be trying to track down a pair, and I think they're just really awesome shoes, and it's a good collectible to have. So for me, the top two things I'm looking out for this Alien Day are the Alien 3 audio drama and those Bug Stompers. That's my mission tomorrow. But there's a lot more to look out for. Alien Universe, the official Alien site, has announced the official new products that are either upcoming or will be released on Alien Day. This is what their article has to say. Alien Day 2019 is fast approaching and we wanted to give you a sneak peek at all the awesome Alien-themed products and deals you can get this year. Titan Books announces two books with more news to follow on Alien Day, a comprehensive and definitive volume telling the complete story on how Alien was made, The Making of Alien, by J.W. Rinsler, will be published on July 23, 2019. Graham Language's Alien The Blueprints will follow on September 10, 2019, and presents technical drawings of the franchise's iconic spacecraft, including the Nostromo and the Covenants in incredible detail. I feel like I've been waiting for the Blueprints book for like a year now. I've been hearing about it and waiting for it for a while, so that one I'm definitely really excited for. And finally, it's, it's actually on the horizon. Just in time for Alien Day, Funko recently released an all-new 2019 line of Alien Pop figures, including a vinyl duo of Warrant Officer Ripley with a tracker and Xenomorph, a Pop Xenomorph, a Pop Ripley in her spacesuit, a Pop Xenomorph keychain, a Pop Ripley holding the adorable Jonesy, is available as a Funko Web Exclusive, and a Metallic Xenomorph Pop is available as a Funko Select Specialty Series. Acme Archives and Darking present a new 40th anniversary Alien print, Too Late to Scream, by Steve Thomas. It's a limited edition print, available in a Red Alert regular edition or a blue variant edition. Also available on Dark Inc., celebrate the true feline hero of Alien with Jones, a limited edition silkscreen print by Thomas Walker. Or admire the vastness of space with Nostromo, a limited edition lithograph by Andy Fairhurst. On Alien Day, Dark Inc. will have... Dark Inc. will have a promo for 26% off on all their Alien prints. Available for pre-order now, Dark Horse presents Alien's Dead Orbit, oversized hardcover. This deluxe edition collects issues 1 through 4 of the hit Alien story written and illustrated by James Stokoe. 
featuring new cover art, never before seen process material, and high res scans of original art. This oversized hardcover will hit shelves on April 24th, 2019, and will retail for $34.99. This one is pretty tempting because the art from Dead Orbit, it's absolutely incredible. Myself, I'm becoming more of a digital kind of guy. That's mostly how I get my comics these days. Mostly. But something like this is a really special release, and sometimes you can't beat having physical media. Shop.foxmovies.com offers a wide selection of exclusive Alien merchandise and apparel. On Alien Day, with a purchase of Alien merchandise, fans will receive a pack of Aliens trading cards. Look out for a special Alien Day announcement from NECA. And don't forget, coming soon, NECA's newest Alien action figures from the fantastically fun 1990s Alien vs. Predator arcade game. These ultra-posable 9-inch figures retail for $23.99 and will be available in mass and local stores and at your favorite online dealer. In the UK, Fnatic launches a range of Alien gifts and limited edition collectibles. The initial range includes art prints, playing cards, 40th commemorative coin, that's kinda cool, Pin badges with additional products added throughout this 40th anniversary celebration year. The Loyal Subjects is proud to announce the long-anticipated release of the Aliens GE Packout, hitting retailers everywhere May 2019. Double the Chase figures, double the Xenomorphs, packed with other rare Easter eggs, including Chase chestbursters, pods, and facehuggers, also including your favorite characters, Ripley, Newt, Hudson, Vasquez, and Bishop. Great sculpt details, great paint details, tons of accessories, and killer articulation. Includes a collector card with each figure. From Diamond Select comes the Alien Xenomorph letter opener, making opening mail a scream. <laughs> In space, no one can hear you open your mail. On the surface, it looks like a detailed resin bust, but remove the tongue to reveal the metal blade sheathed inside its gaping maw. That's kinda cool. Endlessly collectible, totally frightful, the fiendishly creative minds of Weta Workshop are set to unleash the latest edition in their mini epics family. This extraterrestrial new release is bursting onto the scene next month. I love the way they write these, by the way. <laughs> to be the first to know, sign up to the uh, Weta Workshop newsletter at wedanz.com slash alien. Upper Deck has just released the Alien 3 trading card set, which has joined the 2017 Alien and 2018 Aliens trading card sets and providing a robust trio of collectibles perfect for fans of all ages. For more interactive experience, Upper Deck brings Alien Covenant to the game table later this year in August, and the second expansion to the award-winning Legendary Encounters, an Alien deck-building game. If you're itching to hunt Xenomorphs now, you can pick up the original Legendary Encounters, an Alien deck-building game, and its first expansion right now at Upper Deck Online Store. Journey to LV426 with Alien Day Pinball Specials. Enjoy 50% off on Aliens vs. Pinball on Steam, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, Google Play, Apple App, and Mac. Aliens vs. Pinball combines three thrilling pinball tables into one terrifying pack inspired by the Alien franchise. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this before on the channel, but I'm actually a huge fan of Aliens vs. Pinball. There was a point where I was just, I was completely obsessed with it. Uh, I think I got pretty close to 50 million on the Aliens table, so I, I don't want to brag, but I, I got the Aliens vs. Pinball skills, at least on the Aliens table. They have the three, as they mentioned. They have the Aliens themed table, an Alien vs. Predator themed table, and an Alien Isolation table. I hate the Alien Isolation table. I suck at it. The Aliens table is the best anyway, it's the one that, it's the only one uh, that takes clips, uh, sound clips from the film, which is very amusing and you can probably guess what sound clip they play when you get a game over, man. Alien Blackout will be on sale for 80% off in celebration of Alien Day on April 26 only. Grab the ultimate fear-inducing horror mobile game for only 99 cents, available on Apple App Store, Google Play, and the Amazon App Store. See, that I would have really liked to see get uh, some kind of port on Nintendo Switch. That's kind of the game system I use. That's where I play my Alien vs. Pinball. But, uh, plus stay tuned for an exciting announcement on Alien Day from Audible. So I imagine that's the Alien 3 audio drama, but again, I'm not sure if it's just an announcement or if, it, if it's going to be available that day. So I do hope it's available on Alien Day. That would be amazing. And it would be a really damn well-kept secret if that's what they've pulled off here. 
The official alien site also has some giveaways, not just stuff to buy. So here's the details of the 40 years of alien sweepstakes that they have going on. In celebration of Alien Day this Friday, 426, and the 40th anniversary of Alien, 1979, we're thrilled to be running this 40 years of Alien sweepstakes filled with three amazing prize packs, including a xenomorph wall-mounted bust and a pair of the recently announced Reebok Alien Stompers. See below for details. This is what they have to say. First prize is the NECA Foam Replica Xenomorph Wall-Mounted Bust. That's worth 360 bucks. Reebok Alien Stompers, that's 179 The Alien 4K Blu-ray, which was recently released for that's a $24.99 value. Total value, $563.99. Second prize is the 40th Anniversary Alien Print Too Late to Scream by Steve Thomas. The Red Alert Edition, that's worth $59. Also including an Alien 4K Blu-ray Edition, $24.99. Alien Echo Book from Macmillan Publishers, that's worth $18.99. A Funko's, you know, pop. This one is number 731 for you Funko enthusiasts out there. That's worth $17.99. Alien cover Coloring Book from uh, Titan, $14.95. Jonesy, Nine Lives on Nostromo, the book from Titan, $14.95 value. And The Loyal Subjects, 3.2 inch action vinyls, $11.99 value. Total value, $162.86. And the third prize, it's the Legendary Encounters, an alien deck building game from Upper Deck, that's worth $59.99. Also Alien 4K Blu-ray, $24.99. Aliens Dead Orbit, the Dark Horse Comics, $34.99. I imagine that's the uh, XL version that they just released. Diamond Select, Xeno Warrior Venomate, worth $9.99. Total value, $129.96. So come on down to the Alien Prices Right and enter the sweepstakes. That's pretty cool. And it is with a deep, exaggerated sigh that I have to tell you it is for U.S. residents only. Unfortunately, that always seems to be the case. But if you are lucky enough to be in the U.S. and want to win some Alien swag, check out that contest. I'll have a link below. Alien Universe is doing quite a bit. I have to give them credit for that. They're also asking fans from all over the world to share their alien love on social media. This is what they have planned, the global fan reaction on 426. And this is their little press release. We want to hear from you. To celebrate the 40th anniversary, we want you to submit your first slash best slash favorite memory of Alien 1979. Was it your first R-rated movie? Did you see it in theaters or VHS, Blu-ray, digital? Was it a first date? What scene stood out the most? Did it inspire you to work in the industry? What makes it so universal and relevant 40 years later? For a chance to be featured on the official Alien channels, you can submit a video or even a visual photo that demonstrates your love of Alien. We want to hear from everyone and anyone. The quick overview is submission date is throughout Alien Day 426, so all day long. They're, they're accepting submissions. Must tag at Alien Anthology and use the hashtag MyAlien40. Media type is video no longer than 30 seconds or an interesting photo. So no uninteresting photos, just interesting ones. Open to residents across the world. Chest burster recreations encouraged. That does sound like a great event, getting all these fans together throughout all social media throughout the day. I definitely encourage you to, to contribute. And while you're at it, maybe send a video to the Alien Theory Crew Quarters channel. Send an attachment of anything uh, alien related you'd want to share and be featured on the new channel. More info and uh, the link to information on that below. So credit to the official alien sites on all they've put together, but it's it's really the fans that go all out. There's a lot going on and a lot of prizes to be won as well. Studio Utani is one of the uh, fan-involved entities that always goes all out. There will be a Twitch celebration of Alien Day with giveaways including signed posters and art from Alien franchise artists, signed copy of Alien The Cold Forge by Alex White, NECA alien figures, and much more. I'll leave a link to that below to enter the contest. Be advised you'd need a Twitch account in order to enter. There's going to be an overlying theme here to the celebration, Acts of Kindness, which is interesting. I think we could all use a little more kindness day to day, especially on the internet where everyone's just pissed off 24-7. So that's worth checking out. Again, I'll leave a link to that below. 
and the great alien-themed podcast, The Perfect Organism Podcast. They're also celebrating with alien content, with interviews, a new alien-themed web series called Alien Outland, Community Hub, and of course, Trivia, with some chances to win cool alien prizes. They always have good stuff, so definitely check that out as well. I'll also leave a link to them below. There's a lot going on for Alien Day. Lots of surprises in store too, I hope. So stay tuned to this channel, I'll keep you updated. I'll also be doing a, a giveaway of my own. And check out the second channel, Crew Quarters, where I'll be putting out some of my own videos and also fan contributed videos. For those who want to come by, say hi, share some thoughts on all things Alien, share collections, gameplay, things like that. The launch, the official launch of Crew Quarters, is on Alien Day. We have quite a few already, but I'd always love to see more, so please send a video contribution to alientheorycrewquarters at gmail.com if you'd like to contribute. And check out the channel on Alien Day. I'll see you then. It's just a day away. And until next time, stay frosty. <laughs>